Praise be Jesus and Mary. Today we celebrate this feast of St. Bartholomew, Apostle. And St. Bartholomew is also called Nathaniel, as we read in today's Gospel. Nathaniel being his proper name, and Bartholomew thought to be a surname, which means the son of Ptolemy. So Nathaniel Bartholomew was chosen by our Lord to be one of the 12 apostles, that is, one of the 12 foundations of the church, as we read in the first reading, the book of Revelation. The wall of the city had 12 courses of stones as its foundation, the city being the heavenly Jerusalem, had 12 courses of stones as its foundation on which were inscribed the 12 names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb, one of those names being Bartholomew. So he was chosen by our Lord and would go on after the ascension of our Lord to evangelize uh, throughout the East and according to tradition would die a martyr's death in Armenia being flayed alive that is having his skin stripped off of him while he was alive and you see this depicted in one of the statues of him in Rome in St. John Lateran Basilica an enormous statue must be about 10 feet high typical Roman statue made of marble, beautiful, and St. Bartholomew holding his own flesh. And so what do we see here about St. Bartholomew in today's gospel? Philip comes and he calls him, and Philip makes a little bit of an argument that they have found the Messiah. He says, we have found the one about whom Moses wrote in the law and also the prophets. And who's that? Jesus, son of Joseph, from Nazareth. And now, St. Bartholomew, we know he had no guile in him, no duplicity, sincere heart, simple soul, but he was also a student of the scriptures. He knew his stuff. He wasn't a doctor of the law, but he was studying the law and the prophets. And so he most likely called to mind Micah's prophecy, Micah 5.2, that the Messiah would be born in Bethlehem. And so he says to Philip, can anything good come from Nazareth? Nazareth being known as an insignificant town. You know, nothing important comes from there, and that's not mentioned in the prophets. And so he's got doubts. And now notice Philip doesn't begin his apologetics course with St. Bartholomew, but he sa simply says, come and see. This is very instructive for all of us. Okay, this is what we need to do to bring souls to our Lord, to bring them to faith, to bring them into the church. We don't necessarily have to have the greatest arguments because we have the Son of God in our presence, in our tabernacles. I know one Catholic man who happened to meet a Jewish woman who was down in the dumps, having some difficulties, and he said to her, you know, Jesus is in the Blessed Sacrament. God is here. Why don't you just go into the church and just sit with him and just be with him. And she said, well, I don't believe that. And he said, that doesn't matter. That doesn't change the fact that he's really there. Just go there. Put yourself there. Spend time there. And so she did. Every day for two weeks. And at the end of two weeks, she wanted to become a Catholic. You see that? Come and see. Come and put yourself in the presence of our Lord, either in the tabernacle or exposed on our altars. God is there. And now, 
our Lord, who is in the Blessed Sacrament, loves souls. This is what he wants. He knows them and he loves them. And we see this in our Lord's um, reactions to Nathanael's coming to him, right? Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him, right? He, he's still at some distance, but he sees him coming toward him and he loves him. He loves Nathanael and he sees the good in him. Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Now, certainly, St. Bartholomew was not a great saint at that time. Like the other apostles, for sure, he had his imperfections. But our Lord doesn't focus on those. It doesn't, look at how imperfect this soul is coming toward me, hardly worthy of me. No, but see how our Lord focuses on the good that is already present in him. And you can just also see the love with which our Lord is looking into him, not just upon him, but into his soul. And then Nathaniel, here's the simplicity coming out in him. He's not puffed up by the praise of our Lord. He's like, well, you know, this, he's from Nazareth. How do you know me? And then our Lord says, before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Now, we don't know exactly what was going on under the fig tree. Some speculation that St. Bartholomew was reading the scriptures, certain prophecies about the Messiah, praying, perhaps, for the coming of the Messiah, that he might have a chance to see and know the Messiah. And our Lord says, I saw you under the fig tree. And that was enough for him and there he makes the act of faith. You are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. And so this is what it is like with souls who we can manage to bring into church, to just be in the presence of our Lord. Our Lord knows them and loves them, sees the good in them, and is ready to give them the gift of faith. And so, let's learn from the lessons that we read in the life of St. Bartholomew in this episode in the Gospel, and hopefully build up the body of Christ, continue the work of the apostles to build up the church for the glory of God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.